Will OpenAI and Microsoft change humanity forever with their supercomputer? The Stargate initiative would see Microsoft invest $100 billion in the construction of a sizable supercomputing cluster to support OpenAI's future advanced AI models. The whole AI and IT industry was in for a surprise when Microsoft decided to invest billions of dollars in its collaboration with OpenAI, mostly to provide processing power for its models. So what plans have the two giants of information technology made in the artificial intelligence sector? According to reports, Microsoft and OpenAI are building a sizable data center that will house a supercomputer with millions of GPUs dedicated to AI. According to the information, the project might cost in excess of $115 billion, and the supercomputer that OpenAI is now calling Stargate would be located in the United States. The data center might be a hundred times more costly than some of the largest operating centers in existence today, but according to the source, Microsoft would pay for it. The CEOs of the two firm expect to have Stargate operational by 2028, and it would be the largest of several data center projects they plan to build over the next six years. According to the article, Stargate would be a Phase 5 system that OpenAI and Microsoft are constructing in stages. According to sources close to the information, a Phase 4 system that would be less expensive would debut as early as 2026 and might be based in Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin. The system can need multiple Stargate and may require at least several gigawatts of power. Therefore, Microsoft and OpenAI are looking into nuclear power as a backup option. Stargate would most likely be funded by Microsoft, which has already pledged more than $13 billion to OpenAI, according to the report. Currently, OpenAI powers its generative AI system ChatGPT with Microsoft data centers in exchange for Microsoft having the only right to resell OpenAI's technology to its clients. If you notice these, tech companies are always looking forward to being ahead of their competitors. Right now, both Microsoft and OpenAI are wary of their competitors. So what precautions have they devised to prevent others from emulating their plans? According to sources, an extensive data center would be difficult to build in part because current plans call for putting many more GPUs into a single track than Microsoft is used to in order to increase the chip's efficiency and performance. That also entails coming up with creative ways to keep everything cool. It sounds like the corporations are trying to wean themselves off of NVIDIA during this design period as well. According to the source, despite Microsoft's present use of NVIDIA's Infinity Band connections in projects, OpenAI wishes to avoid utilizing them in Stargate. Ethernet wires are what OpenAI says it would prefer to use. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, so it appears that the cost and the plans could all change, and it's not obvious when everything will be decided. Additionally, according to the information, it's uncertain where this computer will be housed or if it'll be constructed in multiple data centers in close proximity or a single data center. There are still a number of Stargate-related issues that need to be resolved, including the chip dilemma. So Sam Altman has come up with another plan, and he's planning something big this time in the AI center. What do you think are his new strategies? You must have been shocked when Altman announced a large-scale investment of an amount of over $7 trillion on an AI project a few months back. It seems Altman might spend trillions on data centers which house the GPUs required to train the AI models that power businesses like ChatGPT and Sora if his goal is to create larger models for OpenAI. According to research firm IDC, the U.S. market for data center development was estimated to be worth $24.63 billion in 2024. He could thus purchase 40 times as many data centers as there are now if he spent $1 trillion on chips. Data centers currently consume more than 1% of the nation's electrical supply. To support his new data centers, Altman would, therefore, need to construct a large number of electrical producing facilities which generate electricity from a variety of energy sources. Next, he would have to modernize the electric grid itself, which is responsible for distributing energy to the data centers. A trillion dollars would probably be a decent investment when you take into account the amount of money being spent through the Federal Inflation Reduction Act and the Infrastructure and Investment Act to ensure the production of clean energy and grid modernization in the United States. Maybe Altman wants to increase the amount of chips produced worldwide. 
only a small number of cutting-edge fabs or manufacturing facilities that create chip parts are now under construction worldwide. Everyone keeps hearing about somebody wanting to solve the AI chip shortage so that everyone can build a supercomputer. Do you think Sam Altman is the one who is going to do that? Is he the promised messiah for the struggling AI chip industry? One of the biggest problems is that generative AI requires a lot of data to train and operate, and it's also quite costly and computationally demanding. Thus, the need for high-performance graphics processing units is being driven by the demand for generative AI. To meet this demand, NVIDIA and Intel are two of the top chip makers in the AI accelerator market. All of us must have seen that multimodal AI systems based on agents are starting to appear everywhere in our daily lives. To make these systems more interactive, enacting them as agents in certain settings is a viable approach. What do we know about Microsoft's Agent Foundation model, another step in revolutionizing the AI industry? An inventive AI Agent Foundation model for Microsoft is regarded as a major advancement toward artificial general intelligence. Many cognitive functions and abilities that are similar to those of humans, including decision-making, perception, motor skills, language processing, and communication, are incorporated into this model. Are incorporated into this model. The model's adaptability is shown in a variety of fields such as robotics, artificial intelligence in games and healthcare, highlighting its capacity to produce outputs that are appropriate for the situation. The development of artificial general intelligence may have advanced significantly with the release of the Microsoft AI Foundation model. The AI Agent Foundation model, a novel AI system, is intended to mimic human cognitive processes such as perception, memory, decision-making, language processing, and communication. Microsoft has made significant progress in developing AI systems that can function in a variety of fields and industries. Since the past few days, there's been a lot of traction in the AI and IT industry with rumors and speculation spreading. Does that mean the future of generative AI is bright? Decades of development have gone into the sophisticated machine learning that underpins modern AI-enabled goods. However, new versions of Gen AI technology have been released multiple times a month since ChatGPT launched in late 2022. In the upcoming years, there will probably be more competitions as well as more partnerships between Microsoft and OpenAI as the need for generative AI solutions increases. Furthermore, cloud computing giants like Google and Amazon are making significant investments in creating their own AI chips for their data centers. AWS services powered by Amazon's chips are already available and they're far less expensive than those driven by NVIDIA's hardware. The generative AI chip competition winner will ultimately have a significant influence on artificial intelligence in the future. The AI sector will eventually gain from the protracted and difficult struggle between the chip manufacturers. AI will become more affordable and innovative as a result, increasing accessibility for both consumers and entrepreneurs. Do you think the deal between Microsoft and OpenAI will revolutionize the AI industry? Do share your thoughts on this in the comments down below. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Bye for now.